And I believe the American people will realize that this was one of the largest cover-ups in the history of our nation. I believe the American people will know who stood in the way of truth, who were afraid of the facts, who covered up. And make no mistake about it, the drip, drip, drip of evidence is going to keep coming out. With each new revelation, Republicans are going to have to answer for their votes. They chose to turn their back on the American people and stand for a cover-up. They chose to use ad hominem attacks and finger pointing. Leader McConnell couldn't even say, bring himself to say what the president did was wrong when you asked him a few minutes ago. That's astounding. Maybe he believes what Dershowitz believes. The president can do, this president can do anything he wants. We always knew it was an uphill fight. No one had illusions that the president would be convicted. But we made the fight for truth and we made the fight for facts. And it created a bipartisan impeachment that can never be erased from history. Never. We did take the high road. We're proud of it. As I said, I think we walk with our heads held high. I think the Republican caucus is ashamed, many of them, of what they did. And following up on that, you mentioned that Republicans were afraid of hearing the truth, afraid of hearing the other side. What do you think they have to be afraid of? They're always afraid of Donald Trump. They're always afraid of Donald Trump. He brooks no dissension. And they look back to last year when the two senators who had the courage to oppose him Senator Flake, a conservative, and Senator um, Corker, a more mainstream Republican, he hounded them out of the party. Thank you, everybody.